This is second and one, and Philpott gets the call again, trying the outside this time, cuts it back. Easily the first down, and Philpott is out near midfield near the 54-yard line. And one of the nice things that goes along with having the number one running game in the league is uh, your offensive line gets a renewed enthusiasm. They're not catching pass rushers all the time. They get to fire out and they get to run traps. That was Jamie Terrace on that toss sweep. Probably the best play that they run. But for the offensive linemen, it makes their life a lot easier too, not having to pass block on every play. Philpott picked up 10. This is first down at the 54. And Matt Clark... He's close to another BC Lion first down, and Hurley Brown is there again, number 44. And it seems like the rich just get richer. Matt Clark was holding out this year, wanted more money, missed a few games. They were able to come to terms with him. Eric Tillman, the general manager, signed him. But now, you know, he's your fifth receiver. I mean, that's not a bad guy to have as your number five guy. Things have all fallen into place in 1994 for Dave Ritchie. Frustrating end to 1993 for him, where they kind of struggled into the playoffs and didn't fare too well. but. This year, a different attitude, some fine additions to this team of Mervyn Fernandez, James Jefferson getting Matt Clark back, and a decision to go with Corey Philpott as your number one back. They've made some solid moves. Yeah, and then you had Kent Austin in there, and uh, everything has fallen yeah, into I place when you think about that, right? I wasn't going to forget him. Well, he's like having an offensive coordinator on the field, and uh, what a difference that can make to a team. Another BC Lion first down. 46-yard line of Sacramento. The Gold Miners lead it 3-0. Little play action fake. Austin far side. Catch is made, but does he stay in bounds? Robinson was covering on Ray Alexander, and they rule it no catch. Yeah, and that's a ball into the wind that just hung up a little too long for Ray Alexander. You get a good look at what a wide receiver goes through when the ball's a little late getting there. Alexander, the ball should be there right now, but into the breeze, it takes a little extra time, and look at the hit by Junior Robinson, and Boy, anybody that's played wide receiver, that is the greatest fear is when you're extended to get that helmet in the back. Alexander did hang on, however, even though he was tossed out of bounds. Second and ten shotgun for Austin. Under the cover this time, Matt Clark, and it'll be another BC first down. Clark is wrestled up by Hurley Brown one more time. 15 yards for Matt Clark. John, that's a matchup that I think the BC Lions will win all night. They've got Matt Clark playing as their fifth receiver, and he's the third man inside against Hurley Brown, who's a converted defensive back to linebacker. But, you know, Hurley Brown's a good player. He's very strong coming up to support the run, but that's a very favorable matchup for the BC Lions. You see he's out now, and the extra defensive back comes in. Lions at the Sacramento 31 with a first down. Gold Miners lead by three. Still early in the game, 8-17 to go first quarter, and... Austin was off target that time.